Hey guys, my name is Tiffany. I am a school psychologist and I am here with another video. Having finished grad school recently, I wanted to kind of put together like a grad school essentials video to list the things that really helped me out throughout grad school. So we'll get started. I kind of broke the list down into different categories and we'll start out with like school supplies. Essential tangible things that help me like study, do the reading, like get to class, things like that. The first one is something I mentioned in like most grad school videos, but it's have a planner and your choice of planner, it's very personal, right? It's whatever system works for you. I personally loved having a paper planner throughout grad school. That changed once I started internship, but in grad school, a paper planner was perfect for me. I love to have like the hourly one where it started like seven or eight in the morning and then ended at like 10 p.m. And I was able to block out like when I had classes, when I had practicum, when I had work, and so I could visually see like throughout the week when I'm busy and then when I have time. And I would also like put in when I would study. Other good thing about having a planner is like, I guess depending on the planner, you might have little sections of like to-do lists or um, places to put like motivational quotes or things that are like important or like key events throughout the week. And I found that really, really helpful. So here are some examples of planners that I've used in the past, like throughout grad school, and some that I found really, really helpful. Of course, you can also use Google Calendar, any kind of digital calendar, and it might work even better for you. So whatever system works for you, have some kind of planner because you can't remember it all and organization is really key to being successful. The second thing I found really, really helpful was having a good bag. And for me, that was always a backpack unless I was like kind of dressing up for like an interview or something. Um, but for the majority of, you know, even practicum, internship, going to class, I always had like a black Jansport backpack. I think having a good bag is so essential for carrying all your stuff. Yeah. Next, I always carried around some notebooks. I'm a huge fan of writing down notes by hand. Of course, I had my laptop as well, but there were just some classes where taking down notes like with paper and pencil just helped me focus in class and retain the information better. And also I carried around practicum everywhere just to take notes. So I like to use a little Muji notebook. They had lines, but they were um, small enough that it wasn't like bulky in my backpack if I had several ones and I would label them by each course that I was taking. So I had like one notebook for um, all the notes for that class like in one place. I also love the ones from Muji if you go to the store because you can stamp like decorate the cover with whatever stamps they have and you can like label it and put like different shapes and um, I don't know, it's just fun. Of course you need some good pencils and pens. Um, I'm gonna show you what pens I like to use during grad school and internship right here. And I also really like using pencils for um, when I was first starting off um, writing down protocols and also any math classes. So we have to take some stats classes Whenever we did math homework, I always use a pencil because we're prone to make mistakes and that's what pencils are for. For any textbooks or books that I knew I wanted to reference after the class, like to keep for like the next few years, I love to use a highlighter to highlight any important like sections or um, vocabulary that um, I could refer back to. And if there was like a textbook that I was renting or that I wanted to sell afterwards, I'll just use sticky notes. And I loved putting sticky notes like all over my reading um, just to like annotate and help me like retain the information and also um, so I could refer back to like keynotes. So I study school psychology and I feel like for any psychology degree, you have to read a lot of research articles because we are behavioral science and there's a lot of research that goes into like everything that we learn right like all the theories um, we back it up with research you can probably find like almost every article online it's totally fine to download it and read it online but i personally love to print them out so if you have a printer at home that's great um, a lot of universities will have printers that you can use just to save paper and ink i try to like double sided it sometimes i put like two on a page four on a page and I would always staple them together. So the stapler I found very helpful. And then I would have a binder where I kept all the articles for each class. And so a stapler, um, a printer if you don't have access to one and a binder. So I found those really helpful and I was able to keep all of my articles in one place and then refer back to them whenever I needed notes from them. And um, I felt like it helped me to like stay focused on 
what I was reading and also pull out key information. When I'm looking at a screen, <laughs> there's a lot of times like I either like misinformation or like I scroll too fast. I just have a hard time focusing. And so for me, like personally, I love to print stuff out look at it on paper. So the next category I have for you guys is tech. And I feel like, like in college, I never really carried around my laptop, but I feel like especially nowadays with COVID and like Zoom classes, you have to have a laptop or a really good iPad. Um, your laptop doesn't have to be like the newest or the best one, but it just has to have like basic capabilities to have video call meetings, um, you know, for you to be able to use Word and Excel or um, at least like the Google Suite. I feel like even then, like it's really helpful to have Word, Excel, like all of the Microsoft stuff in case you have to open it. And also, since a lot of classes are on Zoom, um, a good webcam and a mic. And so sometimes a good laptop will have all of those things built in. If not, you can always purchase them separately. I mentioned how I love to take notes um, with paper and pencil in class, but there were some classes where um, the professor would provide us with the PowerPoint slides and it was just easier to take notes or they might go over information so quickly that it's just easier to um, type it all out. So depending on the class, taking notes on the laptop might be easier. And some classes, they do really rely on technology and they might send you links to look at, um, quizzes to take. So um, I guess it really depends on how your program works and what your professors prioritize. For those Zoom classes, I also found having a ring light, it just makes your camera quality so much better. Like, I don't know if you have to turn your camera on, but especially for like a smaller cohort, I'm assuming it's sort of, um, probably not required but expected and it'll make you look better too if your camera's on and if they can see your face <laughs> because I mean just thinking about like the other perspective right your professors or teachers or TAs teaching a class and it's like all black screens it feels pretty terrible especially when there's no feedback so having a good ring light not only elevates your video quality but also it just makes you look a little bit better <laughs> last thing on my list for tech is headphones and headphones just for like so many reasons if you're traveling to campus you can always pop them in and um i feel like music is always such a good way to like change your mood or it helps you like set the tone right if you ever need like a break in between your classes pop your headphones in sometimes i find um listening to recordings is um really helpful if i ever recorded a lecture or if i recorded like like a testing session even for all those video call meetings like your classes meetings practicum whatever it is having headphones with a mic gives you the best audio quality there's no feedback you can hear everything clearly and they can hear you as well okay next category is sustenance and this is something i always always brought to class a drink so you know a water bottle um like a big coffee or like a big tea and snacks like snacks are essential <laughs> whether you're like falling asleep you can't focus you're hungry like all those things are going to distract you while you're in class so bring snacks that are not too distracting um sort of healthy like it's fine if it's not healthy but just pack snacks next category is things um i guess it's more school psychology related or any field where you have to work with children for my program specifically we had practicum starting in our first semester and first year where we had to work with students like doing testing and um, doing counseling groups and so for one-on-one -on -one testing sessions, I found like having fidgets and stickers, like really small prizes for those students helped me out a lot. Like, of course you don't have to have that. So we're not there to bribe those students or children, but sometimes having those little motivators can really help your test sessions out, especially in the beginning when you're like super nervous and like learning how to administer those tests or um, working with children for like either like the first time, or hopefully not the first time, um, working with children in that capacity for like the first time a tip you don't have to get anything expensive and i don't think that's ever expected i love going to like the dollar store for like hundreds of stickers for like a dollar um like character stickers are really really popular or like going to like dollar spot at target or like walmart go to all those cheap places and you can always find like little 
trinkets and fidgets and stickers. This is not necessary, but some programs might not let you use your phone for the timer and the voice recorder. And some programs might not even allow you to voice record. But if you're allowed to, um, go ahead and use your phone. If you're not, I would recommend getting a stopwatch. Um, they're super cheap on Amazon and try to get ones without um, any noise. If it does make a noise, you can just take out the sound mechanism. That's what I did because I couldn't find one that didn't make a sound. <laughs> but I think it's super easy to like just take it out. I also got a voice recorder. You can't really rely on your own memory <laughs> and sometimes like kids mumble and it's just hard to grasp everything like in the moment. I would definitely recommend a voice recorder so you could listen back and then make sure you're scoring everything accurately. Okay, last category. This is also not necessary. I think it depends on where you're going to school. But I do recommend having some business casual attire. For my program, we had our program in our um, like psych clinic. And so we had clients coming in all the time, like parents and children and adults who are coming to get therapy and like testing done. So we had to come in in business casual attire. That didn't mean we had to like, you know, suit up or like wear a dress every day, but um, you know, nice pants or like nice um, like black jeans with a nice top. So I definitely think for things like practicum or if you're in a research lab, like they do expect you to dress up a little bit. I feel like when you do dress up, you do feel better about yourself. Like if you're in like leggings and a hoodie, like you just feel more relaxed, more chill, maybe more lazy but when you're dressed up in business casual attire you're like ready to go like in that in that like mentality i hope that was helpful um if you have any other essentials that helped you throughout grad school make sure to leave them down in the comments below don't forget to follow me on instagram and subscribe to my youtube if you haven't subscribed yet i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>